I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kula. I'm Jesper Dion. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Djokovic has left Australia after losing his appeal against his visa cancellation. He knew the conditions since uh, a lot of months ago. I was just following the rules. I came in with all the valid papers. The volley! Yeah. It's so good! He's done it! It's the miracle in Melbourne. Novak Djokovic has been granted a visa allowing him to play in next year's Australian Open. Fans who taunt Djokovic are on notice. Do so, and you'll be kicked out by security. Carlos Alcaraz is out of the Australian Open. I look at my ranking, it's giving me a lot of confidence, but on the other hand, I know that these are just the numbers. Anybody can win a grass on right now. Who is going to avoid Novak Djokovic? It's Daniel cool. Medvedev's in the same quarter as Rafael Nadal. It doesn't get much worse, I'm sorry. Can Radul Kanu beat Coco Goff in a second round bet? Felix Ogiali Asim will win the Australian Open. The Iga Swiatek will win. Arena Sabalenka and Taylor Britt, yes. You heard it here first. Novak Djokovic is a clear winner for me. So my projected semi-finals for the women's Zeng against Pagula and Garcia against Samsonova. I see Novak Djokovic holding his 10th Australian Open trophy this year. I see Marie Sakari winning her first Grand Slam title at the Australian Open. The Nicholas Kyrgios Stephen train is powering his way through to an Australian Open title win. And he's taking out Novak Djokovic on his way. Hello, tennis fans, tennis lovers. It's Covey here for the Game to Love podcast. Uh, we've got a match here. It's, it actually started a little bit earlier than scheduled. Originally, it's supposed to start at 7, 5.30 my time. It's exactly 5.30 now. So we're actually one game in. We got the, uh, Alexander Davidovich Fokina versus Bublik. A couple of Alexanders. We've got a Kazakh. We've got a, Span a Spaniard. Uh, Davidovich Fokina is the 30th seed in this tournament, 32nd in the in the world, and uh, Bublik is 36 in the world currently, and he's about to serve. Uh, we're on serve at uh, Love One here. Now, quickly, since this match has already begun, let's let's get into some predictions and let's actually see if anyone's here because it started so early. Then I wonder if we still are waiting for people to jump in here. This is a, a rare occurrence. Normally, you get later starts, not early. All right, we got two people watching. Oh, we got seven likes. Actually, eight. I just added a like. Does that count? It counts. So, yeah, say hi. Let us know where you're from. Um, we've got some pretty cool uh, information to share as well. We've got a sponsor that we're working with here during the Aussie Open, and it pertains uh, to one of the players in this match, Alexander Bublik. I'll get, we'll get into that in a, a little bit. We'll show you a little advert that we've got going and how you can support um, players in a really cool, innovative way um, through cryptocurrency. And um, yeah, so we'll get, to, we'll get to, to that. So real quick predictions from everyone. Let's see who's got what. All right, predictions, predictions. I am going with uh, Davidovich Fokina in four sets. Um, yeah, I think he's going to have a great day. Um, both players a solid. Obviously, the big serving Bublik. Um, but um, Davidovich Fokina has the abilities to surprise. Um, really good players. So, not not that he would be the underdog, anyways. But but yeah, I just think that. It's uh, it's going to be the Spaniard today in four sets. So let me know what you think. Uh, and speaking of 
that Spaniard, that very Spaniard, he just broke. And we're going to quickly give him some love on the break. All right, y'all. So, again, I apologize. I'm still trying to figure out this issue I'm having. Um, before this Australian Open, I was able to watch the matches up to the second live. So, pretty much from the camera to my eyes. Um, and there was no delay whatsoever. No TV delay, no whatever. Um, for some reason now, I'm unable to. The site that I was using, it's a legit site and everything, all of a sudden is not playing Australian Open matches in Canada, which is where I am. So... A little bit behind, but we're still going to be rocking this with you. And again, thank you all for joining me. Let me know what matches you've been watching so far. There's been tons of great action. Uh, we had, what, nine five-setters yesterday on the men's side. We had um, one of two former champions on the women's side was uh, knocked out by the other one, actually. Azarenka took out uh, Sophia Kennan. And here we are. Man, quickly, three love consolidation. So Davidovich Fakina. Is <laughs> wasting any time whatsoever. Um, just rocking it. We might even have our first game to love here. Yeah. So got a. Lower left leg bandaging for Bublik, the tall Bublik. All right. Ten minutes into this match. And Davidovich Fakina is doing well, 80% almost on his first serves. And a backhand slice into the net from Bublik. So that ends the game. So there it is. That's the three love point. And it is also a game to love. <laughs> Okay, so obviously Davidovich Fakina is on fire to start this match. Let's give him a button. Let's check it out. Yes, there it is, Davidovich Fakina. The nice, calming, relaxing music brought to you by the very own Ben, who has enlisted me to uh, help out with some of these buttons. So I'm going to make one of my own. I'm going to make a Yoshihito button. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. So we got Alejandro versus Alexander. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's see what's going on. Pretty dry so far in the comments. Let me know what's up, where you are from. Um, would love to would love to interact, get to know the peeps. Um, what matches have you been watching? Did you check out Covey's Corner? That's another really cool thing. Um, actually, maybe I'll play you. When, when we get more people in here, I'll play you the button for the intro. So I'm doing this daily wrap-up uh, at the end of every... Uh, match day in Australia for this tournament. It's called Cubby's Corner. It's a 15 minutes ish where I just kind of cover what's been going on, the big storylines, big news. Like uh, I um, talked about uh, Kyrgios, the biggest news um, from day one, him having pulled out and then uh, covered a few matches uh, in depth. The Rafa match with Draper. Also checked out. Um, a little bit of the Ega match. Talked about that one. Nice uh, effort from Niemeyer there. And yeah, so we got some cool things going on. Hopefully you're able to check them all out. So real quick here, Fokina is up four to love. We might have the new bagel button. So let's go. One more break. Yeah, this is a slaughter right now. I mean, what's it? I don't even know what the, the total points. I'm actually going to look that up because it. I think it's very lopsided. 
I'll get into some out of town scoreboards for you as well. Where is this one though? Okay, let's see the, the I want to see the, the total points. Total points one. 19 out of 23. So Davidovich Fakina has won all but four points in this match. And he another game to love. This is crazy. What is happening here? <laughs> Yeah, and one more button because this guy's killing it. He's up, already up 30 love. I mean, this this is becoming a, a slightly ridiculous. He's won 20 of the first 25 points in this match. Unbelievable. Okay, first serve into the net here. Oh. Again, I'm a little bit behind. So <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at the first point here in game number five. Too bad there's no way I could pause this uh, scoreboard right here. That's right beside my face on the screen by like 30, 40 seconds, and then it would be synced up perfectly. 30, 15 here for Davidovich. Man, this could be faster than some women's matches if, if the pace keeps up. Definitely some craziness going on. All right, let's see. Out of town on the women's side. Not out of town, but... Other matches, we've got Leila Andy Fernandez up a set and a break on Alize Cornet. That's pretty big. Um, go Canada there. We've got Kanepi is up one set, and she's on serve at 3-4 against Birol. Muguruza, one set and on serve against Mertens. Linda Frivirtova is up three love in the first set against Forlis. That's on the women's side. On the men, a little... I wonder what's going on here. It looks like the score hasn't changed in a second. I wonder if there's... Let's see here. Just going to see what's going on. I wonder if there's some sort of delay happening or... It's been the same score for a minute here. Oh! Oh, there's a bunch of debris falling onto the court. Oh, jeez. It's like, uh, it's like, I guess it's so windy there, like the tops of trees and, and other kind of foliage is flying around. And it doesn't look like it's raining, but it kind of, it's raining like, uh, like needles, like uh, plant needles or something. Okay, so that's what's going on there. So this is going to slow down the pace of the match a little bit. Um, what did I say here about this match? I said that the total points were 25 to 20 for Davidovich Fokina. So Bublik has winning one out of every five points. Not a good way to start here. Definitely not a good way to start. So the ball kids are picking up all this debris. I think it would be easier if they had a like a wide broom because they're literally picking up needle by needle and they're... They're about, they look like they're about three, four inches long, thin, and now they're showing a big tree. So I'm assuming that's where a lot of this foliage is coming from. Interesting. Interesting ongoings here. Hey, Lamberto, como esta? Good to, good to have you, Lamberto. I saw you were you were uh, in the chat earlier when I was doing my Cubby's Corner. I wasn't able to say hi. I was so focused on making sure I got everything going. I uh, have to run it a little bit differently than I run a uh, regular kind of play-by-play -play stream. So I had to be a little bit more on. I did see you, though. And it was really nice to see you. I hope you enjoyed the segment. Uh, and let me know what you thought about it. If you did, If you did watch the whole thing and if you had any thoughts. Gaming with Nate. Uh, where can I watch match? Um, honestly, ga uh, gaming with Nate, it totally depends on where you are. Oh, uh, Lambert is going to help us. He says, gaming with Nate, what's your country? So it depends on where you are. It depends on, you know, some people use VPNs and they watch it on this site or that site. Some people just watch it through their country's 
or their their local television subscription. You might have, you know, like in the U.S., it's called ESPN, it's a sports channel. There's Eurosport. I know in Euro, in Canada, we have a station called TSN, the Sports Network. So depends. Says uh, U.S. not showing it, ESPN not showing it. Uh, so Lamborto says tennis channel or ESPN. So he's saying ESPN is not. So maybe t- if you if you have access to tennis channel, you'll get the match. And looks like they're about to resume. Actually, they have resumed in real life on my screen as we're about 30 seconds behind. Uh, we've got, oh man, five love here. So another consolidation. Um, unbelievable here. Son of Robin Records saying Bublik, asking Bublik. Oh, asking bagel, but I I think we do. I think we do have a bagel button coming. I would be very surprised if not. Uh, if you're just tuning in, that's our that's our boy Ben over there. Bagel button coming. Um, let's see here. I wanted to check. Go back to the stats on this match because check this out. Total points in this match so far: twenty-two out of twenty-seven for Fokina. So just five points won in the entire set so far in five games. So yeah, I'm I'm betting on it. Lamberto is mentioning in Italy we just use Eurosport. Very nice. I need to go to Italy, man. I just saw this really good show called um, The White Lotus, and it's a second season of the show. The first season it's like this resort in Hawaii. The second season they're in um, the same resort. And it's a different cast, but they're in Italy, and it is gorgeous. Okay, so Fokina, three points away from a bagel. Lamberto saying uh, Rublev about to serve for the second set. All right, out-of-town scoreboard. Love the out-of-town scoreboard action. Um, let's get you guys caught up, actually. So on the men's side, we've got Dan Evans is up one set and down a break in the second set against Bagnus. We've got Chardy versus Galan. That's uh, Galan with a one-set lead, and they're... Oh, well, it looks like Charlie's a he's serving for the t- to force a tie break, but he's actually down fifteen forty. So double set point for Galan to take a two set lead there. Now he says, maybe if you're coming to Italy, make sure it's Milan. I was thinking of going to Sicily, man. Although I, I got to go everywhere. Um, Italy's Italy's so beautiful, and the food. Oh, the food. Another big matchup. We've got Rublev versus Team. Rublev is up one set, and he's serving for the second set at 5-4 right now. Uh, 15 all there. So just three points away from a two-set lead over Dominic Team. All right. Now we've got Bublik on serve here. Yeah, it's a double fault. Not looking good. So Bublik, his unforced error is nine. He's got three double faults. He's got one winner. So every stat right now is not looking great for him. He's lower in serve percentage, first serve points, second serve points, 0 for 5 on his second serve. So let's see. I think the bagel button, we're, we're, we're at set point here now. The bagel button might make its introduction, or at least for me, in this Aussie Open. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we're at deuce. Oh, it's so close. It is so close. The tension is actually getting to me a little bit, folks. We're at 15 likes now. We're trying to get 100. That's the goal. My goal is to get 100 likes on a solo stream. Please help me if you can, if you'd like to. Um, Here we are, still at deuce. Bublik trying to save a little tiny bit of face and not get bageled. Um. Let's see here. Oh, Bublik. Look at what he's doing. Look at what he's doing. He's got the advantage. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. And we're back to deuce. Okay, okay. So the chance for the bagel is alive. The bagel chances are alive. 
Are they? Wait, hold on. I thought that scoreboard showed me. Yeah, we're back. We're back to deuce. There we go. Okay, okay. We got here. Got a comment. New comment. Love it. Uh -huh. Lamberto says, I'm biased because I'm from Milan. Hey, I'd be too. Got to be proud of where you're from. Well, hopefully um, you enjoy where you're from. Um, but uh, yeah, Milan, Roma, Firenze. I got to go to all of them. All of them. I just want to rent a scooter and just drive up and down right across the whole boot. I heard it's only, it doesn't even take that long, a couple hours, um, depending on what part you're going across. Okay, we're back to Deuce here in this matchup. And still two points away from a bagel is Davidovich Fokina, the Spaniard. The Spaniard who usually rocks, actually we'll get into kits in a second, who usually rocks different colored socks, except at Wimbledon because they make him. Yeah, he's got a black left sock, a white right sock. He always does that. Uh, adds a little flavor. I like that. I like when people uh, throw a little bit of their personality. He's also a huge animal lover, so if you love animals. Um, now we have set point advantage Davidovich Fokina on the Bublik serve. Will he take the first six straight games? Only time will tell. Also, I will because I'm commentating the match. Here we go. Here we go. It's there it is. We have our first, first bagel from me at least of this tournament for Davidovich Fokina. Let's go. There it is. That might be the first time you've ever seen the bagel button, and uh, it goes to the Spaniard. So great, great couple of years for Spaniards. They won, what, three majors last year? You got bagel button to kick off 2023? Come on, come on. So, hey, you guys, speaking of um, what I was mentioning when I kicked off the stream, we've got a really cool new um, sponsor and it's it's very interesting and innovative way to support your favorite tennis players i'm not going to keep talking because i won't be able to do it as well as ben and jg so check it out here we are fantium this stream is sponsored by fantium a cutting edge platform that allows you to invest in top performing athletes already there are two amazing players on the platform. You could invest in Dominic Team or Alexander Bublik with more to come on the Fantium platform. Yeah, so how does it work? Well, fans purchase a percentage share of future prize money or career earnings directly from the athletes in the form of tokens and get to participate in the athlete's real earnings. So that means when athletes win big, you win big too. But that's not all. Fans become a part of the athlete's inner community, unlocking perks, experiences, VIP access to the Grand Slam tournaments, private calls with the athlete, video-based coaching, and hand-signed rackets and many more awesome perks. So JG, how can I get a percentage of Team and Bublik's season's earnings? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ben, because it's very, very simple. All you need to do is head over to Fantium.com. You sign in with your socials, e.g. a Google account. You fill in your personal information. You easily top up your wallet with your credit card or debit card and then you choose which player you want to invest in. It's really as simple as that. You do not need to have NFT experience. All you need is to know how to use a phone or computer. Make sure if you want to get involved, go over and follow them on Twitter. Join their Discord. This is the way you'll find out all of the new athletes that are going to be announced on Fantium. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure hit the link pinned in the live chat or the link in the description below. There 
And there you are, Fantium. So Davidovich Fokina has come out of that set um, again on fire. <laughs> He's at 40 15 real quick. Um, yeah, just definitely not Bublik today. My prediction was it's looking like he's going to win this in three, not in four. Um, but let, let's see. This is a very interesting. I wonder if something's ailing him. It doesn't look like it from the looks of it, um, from the eye test, I should say. Uh, so here's the link, by the way. I popped it up on there. Check it out if you're interested. And this, um, this specific match, um, of course, also uh, contains Alexander Bublik, who's one of the two players who's, who has currently signed on. So they're two of the players you can actually start supporting right now. Um, and he might need a little support because he is only won. He only won 10 points in that first set, by the way, out of 20, out of 39. So basically it was... Three points to every one for Davidovich Fokina. So, dominant, dominant first set. Okay. What else we got? Oh, we got... Uh, so, another seven straight games there for Fokina. And Bublik's now about to serve. See if he can gain some sort of traction. I mean, it's just... He's getting beat. He's starting every, every game down one or two points right off the bat. And... Double faults aren't uh, he's not a good number for just one set. Four. He is a big server, too. A guy who relies on his big serve. He's only hit 11 out of 20 of his first serve. So he's he's just certainly ra lacking a rhythm. That's, that's, how, that's how we'll call it. He's lacking his rhythm right now. Oh. Yeah. There you go. A couple points here to start this... Second game, 30 love, encouraging. Let's see what else we got. So I mentioned uh, Rublev and team were going – oh, no, Rublev was about to win the second set, and he did. He's up two sets to love now on Dominic team. We've got Bellucci and Bonzi. They're tied at a set apiece. We've got Jere and Bergs of Germany. They're tied at one set apiece, three love in the second. Grigor Dimitrov is currently serving for this for a two love lead over Aslan Karatsev. So Dimitrov won the first set and he's up six to five serving currently at love 15. So he's four points away from a two set lead. Diego Schwartzman is up one set and he's also serving right now at five six. So if he holds this Service game, he will be forcing a tie break. And that's against Krutik. And let's see what else. We've got Chile's Jari versus Miromir Kecmanovic. And uh, Jari is up a break at 5-3, serving for the first set. And the final one that is live is Carreño Busta versus Kachen. And they are tied at two games apiece in the first set. So Bublik had a 30 love lead and now he is facing yet another break point he's this is the sixth one he's faced he's saved two so he's not doing not so hot right now and he's a big server man this guy's got skills nice return there davidovich fokina Seeing the ball well, timing it, ripping it. Yeah, great footwork on the return. It was a second serve there. However, Bublik has leveled it, given him a chance to get his first game. Yeah, I, I mean, you can tell. Bublik is just, looks like he's rushing. He looks like he's kind of impatient and... Uh, frust frustrated, annoyed, maybe. Nicely done. Great big serve at the body. Ah, the plus one was long. Saying something in perhaps Kazakh or Russian, I wish I knew what he was saying. He's just looking at towards his box and just kind of dejectedly saying something. Still got a chance, though. He's got the advantage here. Looking for the first game victory of 
this match. Son of Robin Records, is Bublik going to win a game today? Very good question. Answer, unknown. So far, it's looking like no, um, although he does have a game point here at, um, at advantage. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not so sure, though. Michael Walker saying, someone is getting their clock cleaned. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, actually, Bublik finally just won his first game in the eighth game played. So he lost the first seven games, only 10 points in the first set and got his clock cleaned. Absolutely. But are the tides turning? If Davidovich Fokina can win seven in a row, can Bublik? These are all questions that will be answered. All right, here we go. We got a nice forehand to forehand battle. Now forehand up the line. Backhand by Davidovich is a slice. And now a nice forehand up the line. Bublik and then backhand by Davidovich into the net. So, love 15 here. This is the closest semblance uh, to anything close to momentum that you could say that uh, Bublik is riding right now. Which is one game and... He's taking the first point on the return. Boy, can he uh, rip that serve, though. If you watch him when he's on, he can rip the felt off of the ball. So we got Bublik in a white top, black shorts. He's got maroon socks and white shoes. And on his left leg... He's got this like leg brace that goes from the top of his socks to just under his left kneecap. So it's a black uh, brace. I'm sure it helps him in some way. Oh, we got a fan here of the Spaniard. Longinus Galaxy says, come on, Fokina. Yeah, I don't even think he needs uh, that much encouragement. He is on fire right now. Looking at these numbers 70% on the first serve winning 67% of those 88% 7 out of 8 on a second serve all numbers that you want numbers that you always want to see zero for zero break point saved because he has faced zero and bublik is only he's faced six and he's only saved three so there you go that tells you the score line in one easy little stat Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, anything else of note going on? So 30-15 here for Davidovich. So cruising along. We got Kanepi Burrell. Now Kanepi is up a set still, and she is on serve. And if she holds here, she will force a tie break. So she's looking to stay alive in set number two. We've got a tie break in set two between Muguruza and Mertens. Muguruza won the first set, and uh, Mertens now has a 4-1 lead. So it's looking like it's going to be level, but you never know. Linda Fravirtova, that's one of Ben's favorites youngsters, and I think that's an astute call. She's phenomenal, and I think her family's got some great tennis bloodlines going to be uh, giving us some great moments in the future. She's got a one-set um lead and she's up one nothing but they're on serve there in the second set against for lease sebov canadian versus garcia they're tied at two in the first set and volnets versus rodina they're on serve in the first set and there you go davidovich three uh two one now so he's doing it He's doing it. He's continuing to roll. Although, let's see if Bublik can uh, get a second straight hold because we'll give him a little bit of traction. A little bit of traction. We got Al Hamdani says, Friends did a draft. Pick three players. Whoever gets through furthest wins. I picked Sitsipas, Aruna, and Fokina. Hey, nice. And that Sitsipas pick is a solid a strong one too so good luck to you my friend not not bad picks for sure okay. having a little technical here got a little frozen on my side here okay so on serve here in the second set and Mentioned this before in one of my streams, but how cool of a name is this? 
Katie Volinets. Now, I say, I think it's pronounced Volinets, but I'm saying Volinets because she's a tennis player and her last name is spelled V O L Y. So that's almost like volley. And then N E T S, V O L Y N E T S, Volinets. Come on. You were absolutely born to play tennis, like Tennis Sandgren. Um, or, you know, yeah. So, anyways, just want to throw that out there. Very, very solid tennis name, Volinets. She's in the first set and they're on serve. Okay, 15 all here now at game number four. Davidovich Fokina cruising along. Absolutely cruising, I'd say. Oh, Dan Evans, he's now tied. So Bagnus takes set number two. And uh, Dan Evans is going to be facing at least two more sets. Galan, Chardy. I think we're having another, I wonder if there's another issue with the wind. I guess we'll find out here in a second. It is very windy though, gotta say, very windy in Melbourne these days. Let's see, where are we at for, for likes? We are at 18 likes, all right, okay, okay. Let's see if we can bump that number up. Any likes, any subscribes, greatly appreciated, and thank you in advance. And if you've already done it, not in advance, but after. Uh, anyone would like a button, let me know. Um, we do accept tips for buttons. We also have a brand new... You know what, maybe I'll play you the intro to Cubby's Corner so you can get it in your mind that every single day I'm going to be doing a wrap-up show for the Australian Open and we're going to cover all the biggest news, we're going to cover all the cool events, all the stories, big matches, upsets, not upsets, five-set frenzy. That's another little segment where I just list off the five setters from the night before. So yeah, lots of cool action. Lots of cool action. Also the Fantium thing. Yeah, we'll play that for you again, just so you can get a better grasp of it. Very cool, though. And Alexander Bublik, like I said, could use a little bit of help. And Bublik comes through and holds twice in a row. That's a good sign. So at least he's picked it up. I mean, you couldn't have gotten any worse. So I guess he just went, went forward. Ah. Two games all. Where is that? Hold on a second. Okay. All right, 40 love for Fokina here, trying to get another game to love. Let's see if he can do it. Like I said, cruising along is this guy. Ain't no thing. Okay, second serve coming up for Fokina. And there it is. Holds, and we have another game to love from the Spaniard. Yeah, I'll hit one of these two. Why not? Fokina, he's got his eyes on the prize and the look in his eyes. Fokina. Woo! Some fire. Yeah, have you guys heard the cannon button? Oh, my heavens. That shit goes, oh, that stuff goes hard. My apologies. I'm getting, getting as you can tell, I'm super jacked. But um, you know what? I'm going to play the cannon button in a little bit because if you like hip hop like me, um, you're going to like it. It's got this double time flow, the beat. 
it's like a trap beat. Uh, seriously, this thing could be banging in the clubs. Ben, are you listening? I hope you're listening. And so Ben was saying, is Bublik going to win a game today? And the answer, Ben, in the end, turns out, yes, he he does. Um, he won two, actually. But it took him eight games to win one. Okay, now, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm hearing something in my headphone, but I do not know where it is coming from. And that's kind of weird. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I see. Got it. Figured out. It was an advertisement for Burger King that they were telling me in my ear. Okay, so here we are. 3-2 or 2-3 on serve. Bublik in the second set. He's down one set to love. Got beat badly. Look at this num. Look at the numbers. Second serve points one. 10 out of 11 for Davidovich Fokina. And only 6 out of 16. And that was an 0 for 5 at one point. So basically he, where did he go? He's won. Yeah, he's still not doing too well. Six of his last 11, but still. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. 15 all here. See if Bublik can do anything. Can he do anything? Anything at all? Give us what you got, buddy. Okay. See if there's any other matches coming. Oh, we got a new one that just kicked off. JJ Wolf versus Jay Thompson, the Aussie. They're very early in that one. Let's see if anything else is popping out at me. Oh, second set tiebreak between Kanepi and Burrell. And it looks like Burrell. So Kanepi is up one set to love. It looks like Burrell is up 5 3, and she has serve right now. So. Looks like uh, she's in a good position, but never know. Never know. Muguruza and Mertens. Uh, so Mertens ended up winning that tiebreak. So Muguruza and Mertens are tied at one set apiece. Fravirtova is up one set, and she is, and they're on serve in the second set. Where's our? Uh, let's see. What, let's see some. So Bublik now getting a little bit of a handle on his serve. Oh, we got. We got a question here from Max. Max, hey Max, good to get to have you. Hey Covey, I'm a bit late. No worries. Better late than never. Uh, Fokina has a bagel in the first set. Yes, we played the bagel button the first time, and it's awesome. Ben killed it again, as always. Um, yeah, so he actually won. Uh, the points were 29 to 10 in the whole first set. Fokina just steamrolled them. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, tied at three. So three straight holds now for Bublik. Will he turn this into a match? Will he Will he win a set even? Uh, my prediction was four sets for Davidovich Fakina, the 30th seed in this tournament, 32 overall. Uh, Bublik is number 36 in the world and unseeded at this tournament. But they're both in that range, you know? Yeah, no. Let for serve. So it's 15 all now. Hmm. All right. Davidovich. Okay, so it's 30-15 here. Davidovich Fakina, he has been cruising, hasn't had any break points uh, faced, just cruising along. And then, of course, he had the first uh, three breaks of the match, all of them in the first set for that bagel. And we got to play the bagel button. And um, like I said, at some point, let me see. Let me see if I have it. Just want to make sure I have it before I talk too much and 
and then not be able to deliver. We got the Covey's Corner intro, and we're also going to play the Kenan button because, like I said, it slaps. It goes hard, y'all. It goes hard. I almost want to play it right now, but it can't because we're in the middle of a game. There's going to be a changeover after this game, so let's see. You know, we haven't even had one Bublik button either, and he hasn't deserved it, but I almost, at some point, we're going to have to give him one, I think. You know, just give him one. Just one. You know, now it's third. Oh, it looks like they took a point away from Bublik. Maybe it's a challenge. Hmm. Okay. Three all. Pokino with an ace there at 30 all. So game point now. First ace for Davidovich Fokina. Doesn't really even need free points, but he'll take them. Mm. Bublik is, is at a wash with one of four, four double faults and four aces. So he cancels himself out. He got one ace and zero double faults for Davidovich. 40 30 and. There you have it. It is now four to three for Davidovich on serve. Not sure what's going on with the scoreboard, but it is four three. And all right, real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this cannon button because, like I said, it just goes. Australian Open champion, 2020. Ski. Three. You don't wanna mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. You don't want to mess with a cannon. Woo! You don't want to mess with the cannon. Skrr! You know, like that's what it makes you feel like. I hope you guys like that button. That button is killer. Okay. Here we are. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out because I am having, I'm hearing something in my ear and I don't know exactly where it's coming from. Let me just. Hmm. Okay, this is weird. Oh. Weird. Very, very weird. Okay. So a little commercial break action. Hey, actually, I did say I was going to play the the Cubby's Corner button. So check it out. Tell, let me know what you think. This is a new segment that just kicked off this morning for the first time. It's your boy. There you go, Cubby's Corner. Let me know what you thought uh, as Alexander Bublik continues his strong service games with a 15-love lead now. He's held all of his service games, unlike the first set where he lost all of his service games. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so no big upsets yet. Anyone's got... Uh, anyone have any questions? Anyone got any cool anecdotes that they've heard about as this tournament has kicked off? Obviously, Nick Kyrgios, very unfortunate news for him as well as his doubles partner, who are the defending doubles champions, the Nasi Kokonakis. Big bummer there. Uh, bummer about Pedosa. Bummer about uh, Isla Tom Tomljanovic. Um, yeah, that's two Aussies in their home. You know, you think about it, you know, like, what are the chances of being born in one of the four countries that have a major and then being a, a player good enough to actually be able to play and make it into that tournament? 
in your home country and you, you get injured and you can't play. And so I feel, especially obviously for Bedosa as well, but I feel a little bit more for the other two, the Aussies, because you only have so many chances, you know? Um, yeah. So anyways, let's, uh, let's hope that they have chances in the future. I'm sure they will. They're both young enough and they're both good enough. Um, what else we got? Let's check out real quick as Bublik is up 3015 here. Let's take a look at our likes. 20 likes. All right. All right. My goal is always 100 until I like hit that on the regular. And then it will we'll readjust because you can't just go with the same goals. We got to evolve like Serena did. Although she might be evolving herself back into tennis based on all these little reports I hear every once in a while about her kind of taking back what she said um, and things of that nature. Big serve. And Davidovich Fakina with a beautiful, like a backhand slice punch volley. Really beautiful. So Bublik here, game point, 40-30. Looking a little bit more sturdy in this second set. Got railroaded off the court in set number one. First bagel. And first bagel button that I got to press. And he holds. So, Davidovich, Fakina, we're getting down to what I like to call the business end of the action. So, um, yeah, 4-4. Four, four. It's about that time, y'all. Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm going to switch my legs there. We are on to game nine of set two. And Bublik takes the first point. Nice to see his... his um... Ooh, yeah, Bublik, you know, he tries these little uh, chip shots. He's got the big serve. Sometimes he kind of reminds me of Kyrgios. They both are tall. They both have big serves. They both have really good hands. And they're both a little... Moody, if you'd like to say that. There's a similarity. And they rock Yonix's uh, rackets, too. Mm -hmm. Boy, can he serve it, though. It gets pop off that racket. Makes Yonix's rackets look good, as does Nick, when he's not breaking them. Although, hey, maybe he's just testing their durability. What am I to say? When I, when I was a kid... <laughs> I had a really, really old racket that was just in the garage type of thing. And I started bringing it out to my matches so that I could throw it and not throw my actual good racket. So that was kind of my strategy of being able to express my aggression. Um, but I wasn't I wasn't a crazy racket thrower. But when I did want to throw it, I would go over and I would just gently walk over. Pick up my spare racket, my really, really old one that was not like so old that it was vintage, but it was just old and old. And I just threw it against the fence and I picked up my racket and boom. It's a good way. It's a good way to relieve some stream as long as you're not hurting anyone. But these days I'm I'm less into the racket throws, especially because, man, sometimes you see people almost getting whipped in the head or someone's throwing it and it bounces 20 feet in the air and lands by a ball boy. So anyways. That's not happening here. This is the happy slam. We can talk about that later if we need to. All right. Finally, a tiny, tiny bit of pressure. He hasn't even faced a break point, but it's 30 all now for Davidovich at four all. So will he face his first break point? Let's see. What do you got, Alexander? Alejandro wants to know what you got. Ale, ale. Davidovich Fakina rocking the white kit. He's got he's got white um, shorts and shirt, and along both the the shorts and the shirt, he's got like a red stripe that goes um, from the bottom of his shorts, uh, like kind of up under his armpit, 
Um, he always rocks a bandana or a headband. And like I said, he's got two different shoes. He's got white shoes and he's got one black sock on his left foot, white sock on his right foot, and an all white Deodora headband. I believe that's Deodora. And he holds as well. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Will Bublik, will Bublik uh, make something out of this? Let's find out. Let us find out. Or will it just be another break and uh, set for Davidovich? Could see either thing happening. Uh, what other matches are you guys watching? Anyone watching any other matches? I know we've got uh, in our GTL... Fam, we've got uh, we're doing four matches today. One of them was the team match. Um, let's actually, you know what? Let's give you guys a little bit of a as this uh tenth game is about to begin. I'll get some results. Okay, so the live matches. Um for Virtuva is now up a set and a break. Good news there for anyone who likes for Virtuva. And okay, little changeover going on. So uh, for Virtuva, like I said, up a set now and a break. We have Caroline Garcia is up five three in the first set, and she's at thirty love, so two points away from the first set against Canadian Sabov. We've got Rodina and Volonets. They're at uh, Volonets up 5-3 in the first set. So she's up a break. And we've got uh, Bagnus and Dan Evans tied at a set and two games apiece in the second set. We've got Chardy versus Galan. Uh, Chardy's up, or they split the first two sets and Chardy is up a break in the second set. Dominic Team has lost to Alexander Rubrev, the quarterfinal machine at majors. So uh, unfortunate for Team. I was hoping that he would at least have a little bit better showing. I didn't really watch the match, obviously, as I'm doing this one. But three love generally is, you know, not what he was expecting. Bonzi Bellucci uh, set and on serve in the second set. Uh, set a piece and on serve in the second set. Laszlo Jere is up two sets to one on Bergs. We've got uh, Dimitrov is up two sets and a break on Karatsev. So he's just a few points away from the second round. Schwartzman and Krutik are tied at a set apiece. And as you know, Davidovich Fokina is trying to break for the set. But Bublik is saying, hey, I'm, I'm serving. I'm, I have the advantage. Uh, PCB, Pablo Carreño Busta versus Kachin. They're in the first set tiebreak where Kachin, well, they're on serve in the first set tiebreak. So it's uh, Carreño Busta serving at 2-3. And then Jay Thompson of Australia against Jay, Jay Wolf. JJ Wolf is up 4-1 in the first set. So here we go. Davidovich Fakina now is up 30 or 15-30 here. Two points away from a two sets to love lead. Can he do it? Will he do it? Should he do it? That is the question. Oh, it looks like we got a new comment. And this is from one of our, one of my favorites and one of our uh, all-stars. Goes by the name of GSL, a.k.a. Gary St. Laurent. Covey, just a quick visit and a chance to hit the like button. Thank you, my friend. Uh, just have to say a Layla Emma final is still in play. Would love that. Would love to see a rematch of that U.S. Open final. Um, absolutely. It was funny how, uh, I, I mean, it was really interesting watching that final because the lead up was crazy. It was like Fernandez, th three set victory, three set victory, three set victory against top five, top three, top two. And then Raducanu. 10 straight matches, including qualities, two sets, just wiping the floor with everyone. So I thought it was phenomenal. I love the, the, the dichotomy, the opposites, and, uh, of course, great result for Emma. And we have Jean Swart, 47, a.k.a. Gene, says, hello, Covey, and everyone, hello, Gene. He says, just came from the Rublev stream. So Rublev straight sets victory, huh? 
looking pretty good. So in this match, in case you all were wondering, Bublik uh, came out listless. Absolutely nothing in the tank. He was he only won 10 points in the entire first set, and he got bageled. I even got to use the bagel button, which was awesome. Um, he's acquitted himself a little better. He's held all four of his service games, and he, of course, he's up 40 to 30, and he's just held. So we're tied at five. This one, even more businessy than than uh, when I hit the button. It's getting getting really thick here. Um, hey, did anyone check out Covey's Corner, the new daily uh, roundup for the Australian Open segment that I uh, kicked off today? Had a little help with J from JG and Ben, and we're going to be doing that daily. Um, so I'll be kind of going over the big news, going over the scores, uh, any any of the relevant information for about 15 to 20 minutes um, at the end of every Australian Open day. Also had some good suggestions from our 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 viewers, listeners. I think Gary had a good one about um, having a player of the day and pressing their button might be pretty dope. Um, we got, let's see here, Peter Zaremba. Hi, Cubby. You're getting the crowd from the team Rublev. Yeah, I can, I sense that. It looks like uh, everyone's jumping in. We got Gary, we got Gene, we got Peter, all, all of our regulars, uh, all of our tennis lovers. Um, and Gene says, yes, I saw that. In re I believe it's in re uh, reference to uh, Covey's Corner. I did also play the intro button because Bublik just hasn't really earned a button. I'm not going to lie. Um, although, maybe we should give him a little love. I don't feel bad if I didn't let someone have a button for their a button made for them in an entire match that they played, in a five-set match nonetheless. Mm -hmm. All right, so it is now 30 love, Davidovich Fakina still cruising, still yet to face a single break point. Um, yeah, we played 16 games now, and he hasn't faced a single break point. That means he's faced eight service games. He's gotten to three before Bublik in all of his service games. Okay, on a serious note, says GSL, Gary St. Laurent, Sabalenka forehand and backhand down the line and cross court are now the best shots Woo! in the WTA. If she gets her mind right, she could dominate, I'm hoping. Well, Gary, I don't know if you heard it, but there's one of the GTL commentators predicted that she would win her first Grand Slam down under. And if you can guess who that is, I might play. Covey's Corner button again. Um, oh, thank you, Gary. Episode one of Covey's Corner is must-watch TV. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And again, appreciate the the input. I did see everyone's comments and stuff during, during the uh, segment. However, this was a little bit different than streaming. I had to kind of make sure I was hitting some timing and I had to had a little issue with the uh, frame size of the screen at one point. But um I didn't get to say hello like I normally did to everyone, but I really wanted to. I just didn't want to miss anything. So thank you for all the support. Okay, Davidovich wins it, uh, holds again. So he's held, what, nine straight? And Bublik now must hold for a sixth time if he would like to see a tie break in the second set. 6-5, hey. Okay, you know what? I just, I just feel like Bublik deserves a little love. He hasn't got his button. We're gonna, we're gonna play a little button for uh, Bublik. 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 That was sweet. That was sweet. Bublik. How does he hit that? That uh, what is it called? That tone or that octave, those last three, crazy. So in reference to um, Gary mentioning Sabalenka is just looking aces. Says, could be right, Gary, and I'm an Iga fan. Look out, Iga. Yeah, I actually, did I call? I think I called that match, though, where Iga def was defeated in the WTA finals by... Um, by... Uh, Sabalenka, Saba Saba, Sabalenka. 
Skiing front back. Hi, uh, Covey, Gary, Jean, and all GTL chat. Hello, skiing front back. Nice to have you. You're on the tipper top tippers board as well. Love it. Love it. Um, okay, here we are. Bublik is doing all right. 30-15 here. Acquitting himself nicely after being bageled. And let's see here. We got another one. <laughs> Skiing again. Oh, oops. This is the one I was trying to hit, but I'll hit that other one. Covey's corner was great. Thank you very much. Really, really appreciate that. Skiing, where have you been? Skiing, I presume. Like it. Ah, look at this. <laughs> Peter says Whistler. That's, uh, yeah, that's where we held the Olympics here in 2010. And it's only 45 minutes from me. All right. So he does it. Bublik finally saving. Uh, well, not finally. He's held for a sixth straight time in this set and forces a tie break. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it's a tie break, y'all. It is a tie break. So uh, run down a couple of numbers here. Double faults for Bublik. Five to zero for Davidovich. Bublik, six aces to four for Davidovich. This is a big one. 29 unforced errors. Bublik, 14. Davidovich. And, and also, excuse me, the winners. Seven for Bublik, and 11 for Davidovich. So everything is going Davidovich's way, as you can tell on the scoreboard. However, Bublik gets the first mini break and now has a chance to uh, take a 3 nothing lead on his racket here. Got 31 people watching, 23 likes. Thank you all for the likes. Trying to hit 100 here and uh, so I can play the 100 likes button. As Bublik takes a 2 nothing lead... And let's see. Let's see. Will he be able to pull it out? Another one. Another another mini hold for Bublik now. So three love. And so far, he's in the driver's seat. Let's see. Davidovich Fakina is not used to losing too many points in a row this afternoon. Yeah, very nice, very nice. All right, so here's Davidovich, love three. And finally gets on the board, three, two, one. Uh, Rise11 says, who wins if it's based on their first name? Alejandro or Alexander. I'm going to say Alejandro, and the only reason is because um, alphabetically it goes A-L-E, obviously the same, and then J comes before X in the alphabet, so that's how my brain works. I would just go that way. So it's almost like, you know, it's like the same numbers, like like say pi, 3.14, but then the, the next number is like a 2, and the other one's a 5. So that, that's, that's my logic. All right. Now, Bublik has the ball, and he's got a mini break in his pocket. Okay. Skiing says, I've been working on my house this winter. No skiing. You got to work on your house in the summer and ski in the winter. That's what I would do. Uh, although sometimes we don't get to choose what we have to do. <laughs> Nice back and forth there. Davidovich pulling. But, uh, no, in the end, it's Bublik 5-1. So Bublik now, after a horrendous first hour in this match. Uh, well, not horrendous first hour. I'd say first 35 to 40 minutes. Is looking good here. He's looking on the verge of tying it up. Okay. 
We're doing a little switch over now. Okay. So we got one from Gary. I haven't been watching this match. Is Bublik behaving himself? I'm always hoping for a Bublik curious match where something controversial happens. I was actually just mentioning that about 20 minutes ago about how Bublik and and Kyrgios, they they have similar styles, they have similar rackets, they're both tall, they have big serves, they have good hands, like nice little drop shots, um, and they're moody. They're moody players, and they're very uh, volatile. So, yeah, I think um, – but, yeah, no, he's been totally behaving. He's been talking to his uh, bench a little bit, but nothing out of the ordinary. Now we got set point here for Bublik. At uh, Davidovich serving at 2 6. So let's see. Let's see. Can Bublik pull out of this? Oh, uh, not just yet, but now he's got the ball on his racket. He's got two chances right here at 6 3. He even has a third one in his back pocket if he needs it. Uh, might have to play the Bublik button here, you guys. Might just have to do it. Bublik. Let's go, guys. Get this point going. 6-3. And there it is. Game Bublik. So he pulls out after a very, very pedestrian first set. Bublik holds six different times, as does Davidovich Fokina, and so Bublik wins it in the tie break. So one quick button for Bublik here. Bublik. 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 There you are, folks. So we are level here at one set apiece. Uh if you are just uh, joining from the other match, let me know your prediction. My prediction was Fokina uh, in four sets. Uh, let me know if you have anything different or would like to share. And also, I would like to share with you, speaking of Bublik, uh, we have this really cool uh, partnership with uh, Fantium. They are a uh, crypto crypto company that also it allows you to follow your favorite athletes, tennis players uh, specifically, um, and even get a share of their prize money. And I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to press this button so you can kind of get uh, a gist of exactly what I'm talking about. And also only two players are currently in the uh, pro tennis that are, that are um, signed up to this. One of them, Dominic team, and one of them is Bublik. So have a look right here. <laughs> This stream is sponsored by Fantium, a cutting edge platform that allows you to invest in top performing athletes. Already, there are two amazing players on the platform. You could invest in Dominic Team or Alexander Bublik with more to come on the Fantium platform. Yeah, so how does it work? Well, fans purchase a percentage share of future prize money or career earnings directly from the athletes in the form of tokens and get to participate in the athletes real earnings so that means when athletes win big you win big too but that's not all fans become a part of the athletes inner community unlocking perks experiences vip access to grand slam tournaments private calls with the athlete video based coaching and hand-signed rackets and many more awesome perks. So JG, how can I get a percentage of Team and Bublik's season's earnings? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ben, because it's very, very simple. All you need to do is head over to Fantium.com. You sign in with your socials, e.g. a Google account, you fill in your personal information, you easily top up your wallet with your credit card or debit card, and then you choose which player you want to invest in. It's really as simple as that. You do not need to have NFT experience. All you need is to know how to use a phone or computer. Make sure if you want to get involved, go over and follow them on Twitter 
Join their Discord. This is the way you'll find out all of the new athletes that are going to be announced on Fantium. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure hit the link pinned in the live chat or the link in the description below. So there you have it, the Fantium uh, experience. If you have any questions, you can, uh, here, let me put this here for you. You can take that right there. I just popped it up on the screen. You can check out Fantium right there. There's a link. And um, yeah, if you're into it, I think it's a really cool, innovative um, idea. And I think that we're just literally just scratching the very surface of the capabilities and things like that. I have a couple of uh, family members who are big into crypto and they always tell me about the opportunities um, that are completely like no one's really aware of. No one's really can can project into the future how far ahead um, these technologies are going to kind of evolve. But I, anyways, I'm pretty excited. I think that's cool. And that would be sweet if Alcaraz goes in because I'd like to get a little piece of his prize money action, if you know what I'm saying. Um, GSL, we've got, um, oh, wait, no, this is from a couple minutes ago. So wait a second. Oh, we got GSL giving us an update. He says, for Virtava wins in straight sets, very good performance. Her first sub serve is becoming a weapon. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm a fan. Definitely a fan of hers. Um, I'd like to see her younger sister, which I haven't seen her play, but I did read that she won seven or uh, eight titles last year, which is crazy. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, so, Bublik to serve here peter was peter says now let's see him win a match but beating davidovich fokina is a tall order let's see I'm talking about um Bublik. and gary says skiing i grew up in new hampshire usa and my wife's from serbia Oh, sorry, Siberia. My apologies. We are well prepared for those 10 days a year when I can't wear my T-shirt and swim shorts. Uh-oh, Fred Stone. Is that Fred Stone or Fred Flintstone? Says, sounds like scamdium. Uh, so you're not into the Fantium thing? That's okay. Not everyone is. But um, yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting for sure. I haven't done my full-on research, but I definitely think that... Um, It'd be kind of cool. Really cool way to interact. How about Elise Mertens? Actually, how about it? Let me just quickly check out what's going on there. So Mertens, oh, beats Muguruza. Muguruza just constantly disappointing. Um, so we have some final results from the women's side today. Let's go here. Hold on a second. So Linda Fravirtova wins in straight sets. Sabalenka straight sets over Martin Kova. Uh, Camille Georgi over Pavel Yuchenkova. Taylor Townsend over Diane Pari. Mertens over Muguruza. Bic, uh, uh, Birel over Kanepi. Okay, so... Kanepi was up one set to love. My girl, Leila Annie Fernandez over Cornet. That's an impressive victory in straight sets. Shelby Rogers over Hartono. Uh, that's two set, uh, two setter. And Schmidlova over, oh, Martina Trevisan. She's had such a great, great beginning to the year. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. What else we got? Keys over, that was last night. Keys over Blinkova and... Yeah, those were yesterday matches. Let's see what else we got live. Let's go with the live scoreboard. So I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Um, no one's on court just yet. Seeing some windy, uh, some flags in the wind.
Game to Love podcast. Are you covering on Jabor match, Cubby? Uh, not that I was aware of. I was um, doing this one today. Um, however, let me know if, uh, if you're looking. Ah, okay. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, got it. So, in test... Oh, ah, okay. Covering on Jabor match. So, I'm, let me see. I'm actually not sure if I was going to do the on Jabor match, but if I... Don't mind doing it. You know me. I'm, I'm a lover of all the tennis. Let's see here. All right. So, again, I'm not sure what this delay is. Um... Not a rain delay. They're they're still on court. Um, Bublik, uh, Fukina, both under the umbrellas right now. And Bublik is taking, I think, I think there's a fan. or It's like a vacuum, but I think it's blowing wind into his face. Is that right? I don't think I've seen that happen. That's kind of cool. Um, now, let me just see what time the Anjabur match is. Hmm. So maybe it's more debris. So as as we had earlier, there was debris flying around the court, uh, just like foliage from trees and and such. So let me check out the time of this Hans Jabor match. Okay. Yeah, I can do that one. Um, let's see. Game to love asking: Are you covering? I could, yeah, I can do that one. So let me, yeah, that would be fun. Um, that looks like it's midnight my time. So Sabalenka, huh? Looking really good. All right, so we're back, and uh, Davidovich quickly taking the lead here at 40 love. But yeah, so it's just a, again, it was that debris. It's kind of weird. It, it they didn't look like they didn't look like they were trying hard to clear it out. Weird. Anyways, okay, here we are, forty fifteen now. Davidovich looking for an early break, a very very early break. Okay, a couple more chances. We got GSL, my boy. It says Basilashvili actually wearing sunglasses. Can't say I remember seeing that any time recently. I also do not remember that. And that is definitely something of note because I used to go to school in Arizona and I always played tennis with some friends. Um, and uh, I just, sunglasses don't work for me. I can't, I don't feel like I can see as well. And I, so I had to play without them. And yeah, so for a player to not normally play with them and then start playing with them, that's interesting. Either they're super comfortable with it or they're trying something different or Maybe something else, I guess. There it is. We got uh, the first break now. Goes to Davidovich Fokina. So he is trying to take uh, take back the momentum in this match. Voila. There it is. Okay, Fokina, let's see. So still yet to face a break point is Davidovich Fokina. Let's uh 
impressive. It's impressive to go two straight sets against someone who's a level, pretty much level in your ranking and a big server. All right, let's check out what's going on out of town. So Garcia now has officially won against the Canadian Sebov. We got Volonets up a set and a break as Davidovich takes a 15 to love lead here. We got Contavite against Grabber. Grabber. I forgot how to say her name. I got I to gotta look that up on the site again. That one's just kicking out there in the very first game of the entire match. We've got Bonzi just took the second, the third set off of Bellucci. So now Bonzi from France over Bellucci, two sets to one. We got Chardy and Galan once again. They're still uh, going along. 2 1 Chardy in that one. They're in the third set. Uh, Schwartzman is up. They're tied at one set, but he's up 5 2 in the third set. Um, Miomir Kechmanovic down two sets to love, and now they're on serve. So Jari of Chile is the one ahead in that match. Pablo Carreño Busta is up one set and five love in the second set, although uh, Kachin, the opponent, is up 40 love in that game. So not done just yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be. J.J. Wolf one set and tied in the second set on serve with Thompson, and then we've got the the man who I uh, predicted to win the Australian Open. Taylor Fritz is up one game to love over Nikolai Basilashvili. Basilashvili. All right, so Fokina is up 30-15. And... Oh, look at that. Love it. Love it. Doing a great job, Covey. Everyone hit the like button. Please do. Please do. Uh, we are at... As you know, the goal is 100. We're at 29. So every time we check, we're going up. That's a good sign. Better than it going down. 31 people watching right now. Thank you all. You guys are killing it. Basilashvili. Peter Zaremba is giving us a little update on the sunshine levels in Australia this time of the year. The sun in Oz is murder. Nice. Okay. So Davidovich 4015 looking for an early uh consolidation of his break that kicked off this third set. Can he do it? Will he do it? He will, and he has, and it's done. All right, consolidation. Let's go. <laughs> So another good start for Fokina. I think that deserves a button. He's got his eyes on the prize and the look in his eyes. Got his eyes on the prize and the look in his eyes. And he looks like he's got that look back that he had in the first set because he is now quickly up a break and a consolidated one at that. So, Bublik, after a nice, I wonder if that knee is, is bothering him. So, I mentioned, if, if you missed it earlier, so um, Bublik is wearing a kind of a brace. It's a calf brace. It goes from the top of his sock to the bottom of his knee. So, it basically covers his entire calf. And um, it's on his left leg. And he doesn't look like it's he's favoring it, although sometimes he's shaking it out in between points. So it's not like a constant thing that he's kind of referring to or putting his attention on. But you can tell every once in a while he kind of shakes it out, like lo loosening it or something. So that could be something, but it doesn't look like it's uh, hindering him to the point of that's why he's losing, if, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm not sure what this delay is. Again, Bublik. Having a chat with the umpire. I mean, both players are up to the umpire's chair. Bublik throws the balls that he had in his pocket. 
Oh, play is suspended because of heat. That's okay. I was like, yeah, there's no, there's no rain going down. So uh, I guess that's why, <laughs> that's why Bublik had that vacuum kind of pipe. It looked like he was, um, he's just getting like air, like blown in his face. <laughs> Um, and I guess that's why. Let me, you know, let me just quickly check the temperature in Melbourne. Melbourne, as they say. Um, Fokina got his eyes on the prize and a look in his eyes. Fokina. Okay, let's see here. Let me. Stone Deli. Can I add one here? Melbourne. Australia. It is currently in Melbourne. 36 degrees Celsius. Oh my heavens. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so that's why <laughs> that's why we have a delay going on. Um, and let's see. I'm gonna look at the hourly forecast. You gotta love technology. I'm sitting here in Vancouver, all cozy. And so right now is the very peak. Is what they're saying. Wait, hold on. Let me just, let me go back to that. Today, so now it's thirty six. Supposed to be thirty six. So right now it's about. Looks like it's one o'clock there. So at two o'clock, so it's thirty six now. In an hour, it's going to be thirty six degrees. In another two hours, it's going to be thirty seven degrees. And then the following two hours is going to be 36, 36, 35. So basically until 7 p.m. in Melbourne, um, which is in about four hours, it's going to be at the current temperature. So let's see what happens. This is going to be interesting, uh, to say the least, because delays. Um, okay, let's see here. Just going to quickly, so John Smith says, why so many delays? Okay, we had our first delay. Um, we had a couple little small delays because of foliage from the wind. So there was some leaves off of trees, branches and stuff were coming onto the court. And it took him a second to do that. Now we have a, a heat delay. So court 16, it says heat rule in effect, play suspended. So... It doesn't say exactly what the wording of the rule is, but on the screen it says play suspended, court 16, heat rule in effect. So it's obviously for the safety of the players and the the fans. Graham Hendricks is saying, is Bublik taking every other set off? Well, he definitely took the first set off, and he seems to be taking the second set off. Um, but we can confirm that um, later tonight when this match is over. Oh, Gary, GSL, how about Donna Vekic as a dark horse for this tournament? I think she fits the definition. I I know she has the game to pull off some upsets. I don't know if she has the game to win the tournament right now. Um, I don't think she's 100% fully back from her. Um, she, I know she had some injury troubles. That's my That's my assessment. But she's definitely like a dark horse candidate for sure. And she's got the game to be able to take a lot of good players out. And check out the Phantium. Um, the app, the information there. I played you the ad. Might have to play it for you again here shortly. Um, and uh, all right, let's see here. Gary is saying this Joker fan is very happy he's playing at 830. Yeah, gets to avoid the heat. Um Peter's uh, helping us out, saying officials taking heat. Pause. Oh, we got Ben here, a.k.a. son of Robin. Wait. Come on, man. I pressed the button. What's going on? It's not responding here. What is going on? Okay, my... Not sure what's going on, but my button is not clicking when I want it to. Let's see if I could try something else. What is happening here? This is weird. What is happening? This is weird. Okay, all good. We'll figure it out. 
trying to be able to press this button, it's allowing me to scroll. You know, I'm gonna try something else real quick. Maybe this will kind of jar the system. Take a listen to this. Let me know what you think. <sighs> Again, it's not doing it. Hello, everyone. My apologies. Uh, this program that I'm running uh, just kicked me off real quick. I guess there's some sort of freeze delay. So let me just quickly get this scoreboard back up. Luckily, we're on a delay here. So we have lots and lots of time. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to quickly, as mentioned, we do have um, a, a little heat delay. Um, so I'm just going to quickly get this uh, Fantium information out to you one once more, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll give you an update on this delay. So here we are, one, uh, here you go. This stream is sponsored by Fantium, a cutting edge platform that allows you to invest in top performing athletes. Already, there are two amazing players on the platform. You could invest in Dominic Team or Alexander Bublik with more to come on the Fantium platform. Yeah, so how does it work? Well, fans purchase a percentage share of future prize money or career earnings directly from the athletes in the form of tokens and get to participate in the athletes real earnings so that means when athletes win big you win big too but that's not all fans become a part of the athletes inner community unlocking perks experiences vip access to the grand slam tournaments private calls with the athlete video based coaching and hand-signed rackets and many more awesome perks. So JG, how can I get a percentage of Team and Bublik's season's earnings? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ben, because it's very, very simple. All you need to do is head over to Fantium.com. You sign in with your socials, e.g. a Google account, you fill in your personal information, you easily top up your wallet with your credit card or debit card, and then you choose which player you want to invest in. It's really as simple as that. You do not need to have NFT experience. All you need is to know how to use a phone or computer. Make sure if you want to get involved, go over and follow them on Twitter. Join their Discord. This is the way you'll find out all of the new athletes that are going to be announced on Fantium. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure hit the link pinned in the live chat or the link in the description below. There you are, Fantium, Fantium, Fantium. If you would like to support your favorite players, uh, just and if uh, one of those players that um, that is currently on their roster is not one of your favorites, just wait because um, these players are going to get a hold of this information, and I think they're going to going to in, uh, increase their roster for sure. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here in the chat. We've got oh, we got Son of Robin Records. Any improvements you would add to the Bublik button cubby? Ooh, you know what? Let me take a couple looks at that and see if there's any sort of um, ad-libs or any rhymes I could throw in there. Um, and Gary, I believe he's asking. I think it's 2 p.m. there now. No? Okay, so I know that 4 p.m. in Vancouver is 11 a.m. So 7 here. So yeah, it's 2 a.m. Yeah, it's, sorry, it's 2.07 there. You are correct. Um, I was looking at that uh, weather app, so I might have been off by an hour there. Liam H. says, the Bublik gonna do it. It kind of rhymes. Um, and Peter's like, do what? And says, sorry, Liam. 
So, uh, Journey T says 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Damn, that is hot. Even for a guy who went to University in Arizona and got triple digits on a regular. And Liam says to win, obviously. Um, Gary, 10 day forecast uh, is for much cooler weather after today. Very, very nice. And. And Peter says, closing the roof, heat abatement. I don't think Court 16 has a roof, unfortunately, my friend. And access to... to... Oh, okay. Gary with an update. Basil Ashbilly is up a break on Fritz. Place suspended there, too. I think I'm going to get some sleep and get up at 4.30 a.m. for Novak. Great job, Covey. Thank you, Gary. Get a good, uh, I don't want to say full night's rest, but get a good night's rest if you're going to be up at 4.30. And enjoy Novak. Um, I think he's the clear favorite for this one. Ah, okay. We want to get the Bublik button oppressed. Let's go. Can't can't deny requests, you know. Here we are. Bublik. Bublik. There you go. There you go. That octave that you hit at the last one uh, that Ben hits at the very end is impressive. The public, public. I can't even do it. I don't even want to try. I'll hurt my vocal cords. Um. So, oh, look at this. Max with a nice update. And you know what? Right after the, her update, I'm going to actually give you guys some updates because we need that. She says, Covey, I'm so happy. Layla won. Woo hoo. Yeah, Layla is probably my favorite player on the women's side, and I just love it. Just love, love how she plays. Um, now, I'm going to quickly go through some scores here. We've got, an, so the intermission, uh, Volnets is up one set to love. Contavite um, and Grab her, they're, they're tied at zeros on everything, so they just started. Um Plish, uh, Carolina Plushkova and Wang of China, they're at once. Uh, no, they just started. Um, they're on serve very, very early. Um, let's see. This is yesterday. Yesterday. Medvedev with straight set. So Evans. So that's also interrupted or intermission or INT, I guess. What does INT exactly stand for? Interrupted. Okay. So interrupted. So same same issue. Dan Evans is up two sets to one. Chardy over Galan is up two sets to one. By the way, Dan Evans is up two sets to one on Bagnus. Rublev beat team three sets to love. Bonzi up on Bellucci two sets to to one. Laszlo Jere wins over Bergs three sets to one. Dimitrov with an impressive win over Aslan Karatsev three sets to love. Uh, Diego Schwartzman and Krutik are tied at one set apiece. Davidovich Fokina, Bublik, as you all know, tied at one set apiece, uh, and Davidovich is up a break. Um, the Chilean Jari is up two sets to love over Miamir Kechmanovic. Pablo Carreño Busta up one set over Kacha. JJ Wolf, one set to love over Jay Thompson of Australia. And very early in this one, um, we have Fritz and Basilashvili at it says zero sets to zero, but the actual game store game score is three one Basilashvili. So Fritz is down a break early. I don't, I'm not too worried though. I still still think my my call is gonna stand. He's gonna win this bad boy. Oh, <laughs> he's like I didn't I didn't hit that that uh, that octave at the end. He says it's auto tune. I don't boy. Okay, giving away your secrets though. Um, we got Max here saying I'm so sad that Musetti lost, but congrats to Harris. Yeah, Lloyd Harris is a player. Um, also bummed. I, I'm I'm a fan of Musetti. I'm really excited to watch him play in the next few years. I think he's very. Um, very stylish and elegant as a as a tennis player. So, 
And then Peter is saying, yes, Max, Musetti recovering. Good for Harris. Hope he comes back at it. Yes, he will be there for sure. Okay, so they suspended court heat rule. Heat rule, y'all. Okay, so what else is going on? Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any cool anecdotes, any fun stories you've heard uh, going around at the Australian Open. What do you think of uh, Francis Tiafo and his uh, very colorful outfit? Any other kits stand out to you? As you all know, I'm a kit guy. Peter Zaremba. Covey, tell some stories. Okay, I will tell you a story. Um... So I have a history with getting hit in the face with things, really weird things. Um, so the first one that I remember, so when I was a kid, I was uh, in kindergarten, I was four years old. And I remember my teacher got mad at me for something. And I, I was like, this is not cool. You can't get mad at me. So what happened was I just, you know, being four years old, I was just mad. And I threw my, my pencil on the ground, but it hit the, like the actual eraser and bounced back up and knocked me in the face. And then of course, everyone was laughing their heads off and it was like a cool moment. And now fast forward, like, I think like I'm 11 now. And my, my mom asked me to do the uh, vacuuming. So I was, you know, doing the vacuuming and I just had this moment where like I was across the room and the vacuum cord was like, you know, it's like 20 feet in front of me or whatever. And instead of going up to the plug and pulling it out, I was like, I'm just going to be super cool. Like, like I'm a cowboy and lots of whatever. And I just kind of pulled the plug out. Well, I pulled it out with like, I guess a good amount of force. And I was 20 feet away and it just slowly was coming, 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 coming. And bam, the plug hit me like directly in the face. And that was a bummer um, because <laughs> it's a little bit of bits of metal and stuff. Um, what else, um, regarding the hitting myself in the face stories? Yes. Okay. The other time, uh, I was just, uh, horsing around, I think with my brother, this is when I was about 13 and we lived in this small little town in the States. And I was, it was, this was just like a cartoon. I was literally running from my brother playing tag or something like that. And I stepped on an actual rake and the rake did what in cartoons happens. Like you step on the rake and it smacks you in the face. So um, that was the other time I got hit in the face. And the last one was actually my favorite because it hurt the least. Um, I think this was about, I think I was about 14, 15. And I was chilling with my friends in the summertime. And we went to 7-Eleven to get a Slurpee. And I'm assuming that most of you know what that is. It's, it's like a slushy, icy flavored sugary drink, which you have a lot in the summer. And I was chilling. Uh, so so we, were, we were walking down the street. And this is karma as well. I'm not a litterer, but I was acting all cool, 15. And I, I had this Slurpee and I threw the Slurpee um, just like on the sidewalk. And it, and it ended up like landing, the actual cup landed so flat and perfect that for some reason, like the Slurpee that was on the bottom shot out. It was like this, this thing of physics. And so the Slurpee literally, it was like the Slurpee just spat ice at my face and it literally hit me in the face. So... There's some stories for you, Peter. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, anyone else watching, wondering what the heck I'm talking about? My apologies um, if you're <laughs> if you're confused. We've got Journey T says I was saying the 36 degrees Celsius translate to 96 degrees. The U.S. doesn't use Celsius. Yes, I am aware of that fact. I don't know the exact conversion, but being a Canadian who went to university in the U.S., um, I did have to do that conversion. So this is how I do it. I know that minus 40 Celsius and minus 40 Fahrenheit are exactly the same temperature. They actually match. At, and then from, from minus 40, every nine you go up or down in Fahrenheit is five up or down Celsius. So every nine is five. It's a 1.8 conversion. So if that helps anyone. Peter Zaremba, always uh, check... Ostapenka's kit co uh, covey. You know what? I did check out her kit. She's rocking a like a pink and black skirt uh, with like the shorts underneath, and she's got the really cool uh, like lapels um, 
uh, around her neck. So yeah, she's she's a um, she's like on the on the Kit Hall of Fame like virtually all the time. Um, Max uh, back on Musetti saying, "Hey Peter, yes, I hope Musetti is able to learn from this and recover as well. I think he will. I think he will. What are you sorry about, my friend? In capital, sorry, no sorry. I'm the Canadian. I'm the one who's always sorry. That's that's like our second second favorite word after hockey." All right, Max says, Cubby, what about uh, what about any tennis stories, like meeting any tennis players? Ooh, okay. I me- mentioned on the previous stream, so when I was at Arizona State University, there was a tournament in Phoenix. And so I went, I watched uh, Pete Sampras practice live, which was like an absolute treat and honor. I got to watch Agassi practice with his retired but then wife, Steffi Graf. So he was still playing. He was in the tournament and she was warming him up. I saw Martina Hingis warm up. I saw a match between Davenport and Kornikova, which was, hey, gotta love Kornikova. Hot blooded male here, and I was in my, my teens. Um, anyways, um, and you also walked by her as well. I uh, saw Mar- Marcelo Rios, Marcelo's Rios. Um, Oh, sorry. I'm going to get back to this, but uh, Max is also asking, what's going on in the match now? Is there a medical timeout? No, there is not. There is a heat rule in effect. So it's too hot for the players. So they're taking a break. And what's weird is that it looks like the temperature is not going to go down for the next three to four hours based on my iPhone app. So not sure when it will be back, but I'm um, going to quickly go back to this one though. You're saying tennis stories, like meeting tennis players. Um, my favorite interaction was James Blake. So James Blake was at that same tournament and he had finished his practice and he was just kind of signing autographs and hanging out. And he was just so nice. Like I was talking to him. I was so excited to talk to him. And I was the one feeling like, Oh, you know, I should, I should end this conversation. This guy's a busy guy. He's a professional tennis player. He probably doesn't want to sit here and talk to me all day. But he just kept the conversation going. Like every time I was feeling like, oh man, I need to let this guy go. He just kept on, because we both have a love for tennis. So, and it's really cool to see him on like tennis channel and he's running the Miami tournament. Um, I'm sounding like I know the guy personally. I I don't, but I just love the fact that good people are doing good things. And he was one of them. And it was really cool to meet him. Um, And then was there anyone else of note that I saw? Or, oh, I watched Mark Philippoussis and it was a late night match. It was awesome because for most of the tournament, it was pretty full. But this was like, I think he was playing someone. I think it was a British guy, but he was like a qualifier type. Um, and it was the, the last match of the day. So the, the announcer, the PA guy is like, okay, everyone in the crowd, you can now come down to the to the very bottom. And, you know, so I was basically like second row. And to watch Mark Philippoussis serve like 140 miles an hour is an amazing thing to watch. Absolute crushing of the ball, the power, the, I mean, your neck can't even go back and forth fast enough, but yeah, crazy, crazy. Peter asking what brand of vacuum cleaner? Not sure. My friend, um, that was about 30 years ago. Um, ah, Peter saying, speaking of kits, the polo stuff for officials is really awful. You know what? I have actually not, been paying attention to the umpire's kits at all this tournament. What? What's up with that, Cuff? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will start looking, though. Thank you for that, Peter. And another one for Peter. I saw Dennis Kudla on the subway once. Must have been coming from the USDA. That's pretty sweet. Did you say anything to him? Get a little chat in there? Abhirana says, I wish it was easier to watch the Australian Open yeah, man, I'm having my issues as well. Um, but yeah, it's, um, I, I was just telling one of my cousins, I'm like, it's 2023. Let's, let's just let ourselves watch stuff from around the world. Let's work. I don't want anyone to harm anyone. I want you to steal someone's internet to do it or whatever. But if you have your own internet, you pay for it. If you have internet, I'm the guy who's thinking you should be able to access anything. Anything that has access already, like, they're already filming this this match on the court. So if that's out there in the ether, I should be able to have it. Um, but again, the dollar, it's money reigns supreme. Bummer, bummer. 
Yeah, question here from Game to Love Tennis Podcast. I heard those guys are pretty sweet. Uh, any idea when play will resume? As of yet, nothing. So, so I'm going to describe exactly what I see. A completely empty court, nobody in the stands, no one in the players' boxes, benches, um, no referee in the umpire's chair, literally just a ghost town on the court. A couple of people, kind of maybe groundskeepers or something, checking out the stands but there's literally no indication and it's interesting right this is a weird one because heat is different right with rain obviously it stops raining you mop it up you're good but with heat it's like stuck in the air can't really do anything with it Hmm. max saying i thought team would have won a set with Rublev, it was straight sets instead. Yeah, uh, straight sets instead. That's tough to say. Straight sets instead. Straight sets instead. Um, yes, I also was expecting team. I was expecting a Rublev victory, but I was not expecting a straight sets Rublev victory. Um, and it just bums me out a little bit because I want team to get back to that place. Uh, we all know how good of a player he has been and was. And I think... Um, JG and I were talking a little bit about him in the match. We were doing the Iga Niemeyer match last night. And we're just talking about, I was saying that I hope that tennis hasn't kind of overtaken him in the time that he got hurt. He was also a late bloomer in the sense that he was, you know, making major finals and challenging the big three in his like mid twenties. Whereas those big three guys were challenging a little bit earlier. So you wonder that year and a half where he was recovering and then also, um, you know, just trying to get his legs back. And he also had issues with his um, mental health. I don't think they're as pronounced as, say, Osaka or someone like Badosa has shared or Marty Fish. But I, he did, I think there was some mention that, you know, it's like really tough for him to, to climb back to get back to relevance. And um, so, yeah, bummer for him. Absolutely. And Max, absolutely no worries about your grammar. I totally know what you're saying. Thank you for contributing. Never worry about that. Um, where are we at for likes here? 37. I think we got a bigger spike in likes during <laughs> during the breaks. So what does that say about my commentary? I don't know. Um, anyone else want to see a button? Anyone else want to... Uh, any other questions you have for me? Um, does anyone want to see the intro for Covey's Corner, a new segment that we're dropping every single day at the end of play um, in Melbourne. So we do a daily roundup. So let me know if anyone wants to see the, the, uh, the intro that we got for that. It's pretty cool. Just saying, or if anyone wants a button and Hey, if anyone wants to throw us a tip for a button, um, I'll even, I'll give two for one today. How about them apples? So anyone throws a tip, uh, you get two buttons today. It's a one-time only offer. It's a it's a it's a heat rule in effect only offer. And now, and who's going to be staying up um, for the Anjabor match? I'm going to be doing that as well. So that one's going to be in about four and a half hours, I believe. Um, and again, that is all pending. What's goes on here? Because obviously um, we're all sharing these courts, and if one person can't play, then the next person can't play, and you know how that goes. I'm gonna do something I haven't done. Just switch the AirPods. Hello, hello. I don't hear myself. Where am I? AirPods.
Hello, hello. Check. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Because I think your mic is off. Yeah, I think when I switched the earbuds, something happened there. Can you hear me now? Let me know if you can hear me now. Okay, I think we're back. Perfect, thank you. I, yeah, we're all good now. I think what happens when I switch the ears for some reason, it. So yes, uh, Oz is playing Zidane Sek, uh, you were asking. And um, yeah, it's delayed. Now we got, we've got this vacuum looking device. It's not a vacuum, but it's like, I think it's just a court cleaner. A hard cord cleaner device thingy. It looks like a vacuum though. I think they're Yeah, this is uh this is interesting. I have literally no idea when this um Okay, so here we go. It says Court sixteen, no play before four PM Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So as we mentioned It's 2.30, so 90 minutes, y'all. It's going to be 90 minutes, one and a half hours at the earliest. No play before 4 p.m. So that's another 90 minutes from right now. Let me just do the math again. So if I'm in – actually, I'll just use my phone here. Melbourne. Is it World Clock? Yeah, World Clock. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, Melbourne, it's 2.30. So that means 4 p.m. is going to be another hour and a half. So 90 minutes. So um, so Max is saying Australia must be really hot then right now. Yes, it is about 36 to 37 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 96. Uh, sorry, <laughs> 36, 37 Celsius, which is about 96 Fahrenheit, which I am told by... Someone told us. Yeah, it was Journey T. Right here. 36 Celsius translates to 96 Fahrenheit, which is what they use in the United States. Another one from Journey. Went to the 2019 Acapulco Mexico tournament right before the COVID lockdown here in Texas. We saw David Ferrer in the airport as we were leaving. He was very friendly, a nice guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. Wish he got to win some bigger titles. He was such a passionate player hard worker small but just fight 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 till the end uh, loved it and so i'm just going to quickly see what is going on um we got oh we got a fritz break back here is uh peter's about to or pop up on the screen here fritz says uh, fritz breaks back yeah i wasn't expecting basil ashley to, to hold that lead to win the set there so, Fritz, yeah, Berrettini's underway against Murray. Murray's up three games to love. So, uh, great start for the British legend. Gosh, there are a lot of matches still to be played today, guys. So, matches that haven't even started yet on the men's side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So 15 matches have yet to begin. Luckily, it's still only 2.30 p.m., so it's not not too late there, but um, I was hoping for their sake. I mean, what do you do about Heat? And where the heck is uh, Murray playing? And Fritz, where they don't feel this heat. It must be on the, the nice arenas, the indoors, the retractable roofies. Yes, uh, on the women's side too. Like, what? Where's Andre Boer? She's supposed to play. Actually, I think she's scheduled for tomorrow, technically, because of the way my time zone works. All right, all right. Max asking a bit off topic. Does Canada get hot where you live? If you don't mind me asking. No, it's not off topic at all. We're in the middle of a, of a, a heat delay. Uh, so heat questions are always good. Does Canada get hot where you live? The answer is not really. Um, 
although in the last 15 years or so, the summers have gotten a little bit hotter than we've kind of ever experienced. Um, we even had a 40 degree summer two summers ago. That was actually the day my niece was born. She was born on June 26th, a couple of years ago. So um, that was actually, we had a three day heat wave where it was 40 degrees Celsius, which we never, ever hit in Vancouver. Vancouver doesn't get very hot or very cold. We get maybe a week or so, week and a half of snow per year. But the rest of Canada will have like east, you know, like eastern Canada, the uh, middle of the country, the prairies, we call them, and the east coast and the Maritimes, which is off the Atlantic. They all get way more snow than us. Like I'm talking some places get six, seven months uh, of snow. We get snow here. It, uh, it, snow, it rains away after a few days. In terms of heat, we're hovering between 20 and say 26 degrees in the peak of the summer. So it's not crazy hot. It's not 35, 36, but we are hitting, like I said, we have been hitting. So we have been hitting uh, more and more higher highs every year in the last little bit. 15 matches. Yeah. Tons and tons of matches still to go. Max Ons is playing Zidane sick. Yes. Yes, she is. On the board. All right. Pliskova is up one set to love. Just ended that first set there. And we got the interrupted. We got Volanet still. Yeah, we already went over those. Nothing new to report. Um, let's see. Some, some matches. Some big matches to watch. We've got... Um, decent match. Par uh, Martik versus Golubic. Paulini Samsonova. Putintseva versus Kirstea. Um, Zanevska versus Kudermatova. That's Veronica. Her younger sister Paulina lost in the first round. We've got Romania's Teague versus Zhang. Zhang of China. Not Kinwen Zhang, but Zhang. Um... We've got Von Drusova versus Risk Amrit Amritraj. We've got Begu versus Zhang. We've got Haddad Maya versus Paris S. Diaz. These are all matches coming up today on the women's side. I'm just mentioning some of them, not all of them. Kasatkina versus Gracheva. And the last one before midnight, at least, my time, is Sloane Stevens versus Potapova. There you have it, yo. There you have it. <laughs> Peter, my pleasure, Max, and hopes Cubby's filling you in on BC weather. Oh, I am, definitely. Uh, I still wish Carlitos would have participated in the AO. Yeah, he, I was actually talking to JG on the stream yesterday about how I felt that even though Kyrgios being a hometown player and such a big name... I was saying that I still felt a greater hull from the absence of Alcaraz than I was kind of feeling from the news that Nick is not going to be playing. So um, that's my kind of, that's kind of my thing on that. Um, but uh, I'm sure that's not uh, a common sentiment through Australia, obviously with Nick being one of their best players currently and ever. Um, maybe not ever, ever, because they've got some all-time, all-time greats, but man, can he hit a ball, that's for sure. All right, y'all, I'm going to take a, uh, just going to take a little bit of a break, maybe hit the, uh, the old bathroom and let you guys take a, a look at just, uh, highlights from, from last year. Um, enjoy, and we'll see you in few minutes here. There should be no special rules for Novak Djokovic at all. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are for something groundbreaking. Some might call it trial of the century. Some might call it trial of all time. We did not expect to be covering the first Djokovic watch along of the year. And he's not playing up an opponent. He's playing him against the state. Shout out to everyone joining us. Of course, we've never had so many people in the live chat. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring all 23,000 of you up to date 
with what's happened so far. I did not think by the third set Ben would be rooting for Rafa and JG would be wishing it's all over. Yeah, a bit weird. I mean, that's what the pain to end. I don't even care if he's crawling on his knees and hitting the ball over the net by the fifth. If he gets there, it'll be incredible. I'm just calling it as it is. I'm trying to be objective watching the match, and he's lost the match. What do you want me to do? He hasn't lost it. He's still in it. Why do you keep saying he's lost it? You think, okay, put a bet on then. What odds would you get on Rafa? Two sets down. Eight. Stick a bet on. Seeing as he's not out. I'm just disappointed you're not uh, supporting your man. No, you're being delusional, Ben. Just grow not up. Supporting so your man. Not, not, su- not supporting your man. Come on, you guys. What are you doing? I feel like I'm rallying for all of the Rafa fans out there now. Crazy. Yeah, because you just need to grow up, mate. Like, be realistic. I've watched tennis many times. I've seen comebacks many times. Okay. You see Medford ever lose from this position? Don't think so. But anything can happen. It's so good! He's done it! <laughs> Oh, his 21st Grand Slam. He's beaten Daniel Medvedev. 7-5 in the fifth set. It's just been an absolute epic occasion. I can't believe he's done it. Rafa on the down. What? Second time Australian Open champion. Vamos! He's down the line! Oh. He's oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> has won! He is in the final! Changing oh. it! Oh. He has done it! Oh. <laughs> Vamos! Carlos Alcaraz beats Novak Djokovic in the Madrid semi-finals! I've never quite seen anything quite like this! Because the- and she doesn't need them! She doesn't need them! She falls to the floor! Iga Savontek has won another Grand Slam! Amazing! Look at the emotion Come all on. over her face! Just they up. embrace at the net! <laughs> wow! On. Oh, Marincic hits the forehand down the line. Oh my gosh! And we have match point, ladies and gentlemen. John Game Club Podcast. When you say you were confused about your tactics, what do you mean? It's into the net and he's Djokovic. Done it. He's it. done it. Novak Djokovic has won Wimbledon. Not lost here since 2017. Oh, <laughs> an ace! It's just ace. Number five of the match, Carlos Alcaraz has come through in five. My partner has literally just woken up for work and I've not been to bed yet. Yes, he's done it, Carlos Alcaraz. And look at him on the floor crying. So he's good. He's sobbing, he's thrown the racket. Aww. What a day for Carlos Alcaraz. He wins the match in four sets. Vamos, Carlitos. The Backhand's ball. in, down the line, cross court from Iga. He's got long! He's got long! Iga wins a third Grand Slam. Djokovic get a good serve in. Hour 32 on the clock. Hey! Djokovic gets sick! Edimo Novak! All right, y'all. So um, I'm going to give you a little update. So as I mentioned, there's still about an hour and 18 minutes before play can resume. They said no play will resume until at least 4 p.m. It is currently 2.42. So it's an hour and 18 minutes. So um, stick around. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be kind of on and off my grab a little food. So it is dinner time here at 7.42 in Uh, my time zone. Um, So if you're chilling, you're wondering what's going on, uh, I'm definitely going to be finishing this match. However, um, I'm going to take a little break. So you might see some ads um, for the next little while, maybe half hour or so, maybe a little more than that. But I'm going to do my best to come back and update you on other stuff. So um, you will see me pretty soon, but just wanted to let you know um and then also just quickly see if we have any comments before oh peter one of our all-stars oh my laptop battery is going night all hold the fort covey ben and jg will be proud thank you my friend um happy to hold the fort for those lovely uh gentlemen and max and saying bye peter see you again very nice love the camaraderie i've said that before and i will never get tired of saying that so um 
I'm going to play you real quick. I'm going to play you one more time our Fantium ad. And then after that, uh, come back real quick before I go grab some dinner. And once again, if you're just tuning in, there is a delay for another hour and 20 minutes or just under that due to extreme heat, 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, 36 degrees <laughs> Celsius. I keep saying Fahrenheit. I keep messing it up. It's funny because I'm from a place where it's Celsius. Um, so yeah, there you go. So I'm going to quickly play you this Fantium ad uh, so you can get an idea of what sort of stuff we're doing with a current uh, advertising partner. And it's actually really cool because it relates to a player in this very match. Here you go. This stream is sponsored by Fantium, a cutting edge platform that allows you to invest in top performing athletes. Already, there are two amazing players on the platform. You could invest in Dominic Team or Alexander Bublik with more to come on the Fantium platform. Yeah, so how does it work? Well, fans purchase a percentage share of future prize money or career earnings directly from the athletes in the form of tokens and get to participate in the athletes real earnings so that means when athletes win big you win big too but that's not all fans become a part of the athletes inner community unlocking perks experiences vip access to the grand slam tournaments private calls with the athlete video based coaching and hand-signed rackets and many more awesome perks. So JG, how can I get a percentage of Team and Bublik's season's earnings? Well, I'm glad you asked, Ben, because it's very, very simple. All you need to do is head over to Fantium.com. You sign in with your socials, e.g. a Google account, you fill in your personal information, you easily top up your wallet with your credit card or debit card, and then you choose which player you want to invest in. It's really as simple as that. You do not need to have NFT experience. All you need is to know how to use a phone or computer. Make sure if you want to get involved, go over and follow them on Twitter. Join their Discord. This is the way you'll find out all of the new athletes that are going to be announced on Fantium. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure hit the link pinned in the live chat or the link in the description below. All right, y'all. So... Yeah, there you are. There's some more information on the Fantium. Um, you've seen that a couple times. So I'm. Um, if you're interested, link in the description. And also, you can check out the link right here, popping it up for you. And um, so, uh, as you may have heard, if you're just tuning in, we are on a big delay. Our delay is for another hour and 15 minutes. So the play will not start until at least... 4 p.m. in Australia. It's currently 2.47 in Australia. So that gives us one hour and 13 minutes before the earliest. Um, so I'm going to actually go take a little bit of a... It's dinner time here in Vancouver. I, I was expecting to be able to eat a little earlier and this match to be done earlier. Um, but in a, in a few minutes, I'm going to take a break. But until then, we can still hang out. Anyone wants to chat, let me know what's going on, wherever you are, where you are. Um, I was supposed to be wherever you are, comma, or where you are. Um, yeah, and then, oof. yeah, the crowd is still doing their thing, aka nobody's doing nothing because the crowd is empty. I wonder what people do in this case. Like, what would you do if you were at the match? Like, what would I do? Say if I was like, a Canadian who was like, oh, I'm going to Melbourne and I'm going to go watch the Aussie Open. I don't know why I gave myself an Aussie accent. Well, let's just say I went to Oz and I was like, oh, I'm going to go watch this tournament. And boom, I'm in the I'm in the match. And boom. Now they say, oh, you got to wait an hour and 45 minutes before we can play. What do you do? Do you like go to your car? Do you go to, back to your hotel? Do you find a swimming pool so you can cool off? Do you get hammered if you're a drinker maybe? Um, there's so many different options. 
So let me know what you would do if you were in the middle of a delay um, at a tennis tournament. Aw, a little dog over there having a little little dinner. If you can see right here, can you see? Yeah. So normally this is where she sits. It's her little. She's actually she's a dog, but she's kind of like a cat. I call her cat dog sometimes because she loves this like windowsill thing, and she's always barking at um, other dogs and mailmen and women stuff like that. Yeah. What am I drinking? You ask. Actually, no one asked. But if you did, the answer is called Big Bear Brewery Honey Lager from Kelowna, BC. It's about four hour drive. If you are unaware in BC, so in Canada, we actually have a desert, believe it or not. And Kelowna is where that is. So it's a great place to go vacation in the summer. You can go. People do like, you know, rent houseboats or they go jet skiing or water skiing or um paris is it was it called paris skiing where you're like on the parachute behind the boat so it like lifts you up and you're just like kind of flying above the water um i've seen that a lot in lake okanagan yeah Let's see what else we got I'm not expecting too many likes right now because you know there's no match on but we got 37 not too shabby y'all not too shabby Okay. I'm going to quickly play the intro for this new segment that just started today. It's called Cubby's Corner, and it's a daily roundup show where I take about 15 to 20 minutes and just kind of let you know the big stories, the ongoings in the previous day of the Australian Open. So there's a little bit of a countdown, but then after they we have our intro, let me know what you think of the intro. It's, it's your boy. boy. It's Cubby's Corner. Great job by Ben. Love it. Really, really love it. That was so fun. Yeah, it's a it's a nice catchy tune. It's your boy. You guys want to hear the Kenan button? Woo! One more time. Kenan button gets me moving, y'all. Kenan button is heat. It's heat in a form of a button. You know what? I'm just gonna let you experience. Australian Open Champion. 2020. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. So be a cannon. That thing needs to end with a skirt. Um. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to mess with the kitty. Oh, you don't want to mess with the oh. yes. All right, that stuff is fire. Man, it's twice I've said the S word when I'm referring specifically to this button. Um, I think overtaking soccer is my favorite button. What's your favorite button? Whoever is out there, if you have if you heard a button, just tell me your favorite button. I might even just play it because we got nothing but time. Nothing. Nothing. You don't want to mess with the cannon. You don't want to mess with the cannon. And nine people watching, thank you. And or thank you. Hello and thank you to all nine of you who are currently chilling. Thank you for being such diehard fans. Um I'm gonna take a little break in a few minutes, but not just yet. Just wanted to hang out a little bit more and then um I can do a little oh Oh, thingamajig. All right, we're going to do buttons of the players who are supposed to be playing, but who are on a heat delay. So, to the current player who is up, Davidovich Fokina. And Bublik. And I think I'm going to, I think Ben might even 
I think Ben was asking me what I think about this this button. So I'm going to see if I have any can think of any input to inspire any um, amendments to it, make it a little more fire, like it was Kenan or something. That's good though. It's simple. It's to the point. I like it. I like it. Um, what other buttons? I, you know, I'm just gonna play buttons. Um, I'm just in that spot now, uh, where I just want to play buttons. Um, I'm gonna play. Ah, Max saying I would say the Bublik button is great. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's definitely one of the simpler ones, but sometimes you want that. You don't need the. A really long, crazy one. Um, simple, to the point, and it's public. Let's try this uh, new Medvedev one. I don't want to remember. There is Medi. Medi. I don't know if you guys saw, but Medvedev has a, a new logo with Lacoste. You should check it out. It's pretty cool, actually. It's a looks like on the left it's a D, on the right there's an M, um, but it's like totally filled out. So imagine like an M, like the up, then down to the middle, and blah blah. And then, but like the whole rest is filled underneath, so it's not just like a stick. And then same with the D, it's just a big D, but it's like all filled in. And then there's a. Uh, on the top, there's a circle which represents tennis ball, and then the two two sticks, like two eyes, which represent the two eyes in the kneel. So yeah, it's pretty clever. I, I like how they did it, and I like how they kind of explained it. All right, this was this was my original favorite button. <laughs> And now I'm going to play you guys buttons um, of the two players that I predicted to be the singles champions on both the men's and the women's side. So these are my predictions. Next in line, you're top of the list. Takes a shot, the guy don't miss. News to the club with an iron fist. Sailor Fritz. The guy don't miss. Sailor Fritz. Okay, so that was my men's uh, prediction for champion, and my women's prediction was also one of the best buttons that I've ever heard. Yeah, let's go Sabalenka. Okay, Max with another one here says, do you think Medvedev can win another Grand Slam in your opinion? I do. I think he's capable of winning another Slam on a hard court. I do not see him coming back to number one, however. I think that kind of ship has sailed. Um, Again, that's just my opinion. But yeah, so I would say... Yes to another major uh, in a hard court, and no to being number one again. And again, just my opinion. I do not obviously know if I'm right or wrong. It's just kind of how I see it. Um, I like the Maria button. It sounds like something. The beat sounds so familiar. Sakura, Maria, Sakura. Yeah, it's got something. I don't know if it's like Greek dancing or something, but it, no, it's very, it's very cool, very rhythmic, very. Um, I like it. I like it. And the Saba button sounds like synth pop. I love that button. Okay, I got a little message here. Heat break. Okay. Let me just see real quick. Let's see here. Oh, 
Okay. So um, I am going to take a little bit of break. So now we have about one hour before the earliest this match can resume. So it is currently 2.58 p.m. in Australia. Oops, that was my bad. I don't think I was supposed to press that. Was it? Oh, sweet. Okay. So um, I am going to take a little bit of break. I'm going to have a little bit of food, and I'm going to be back in about 30 minutes or so uh, and give you guys an update just in case it does come back early. But the match is supposed to resume in one hour. So I'm going to do about half an hour here. And, um, yeah, I'm going to play this thing here. Okay, so see you guys in just one, in a few.
There we are. Hello, hello, everyone. So I've just gotten word from the guys in charge that we are unfortunately going to be terminating this stream. Um, the match is not going to start for at the very least about 55 minutes. Um, and then after that, who knows? The temperature is not looking um, like it's going down anytime soon. Temperature is interesting. You can't really turn it down um, when it's just in the air around us. So um, thank you to everyone who is tuned in. Um, let me just see if anyone's tuned in. There's a few people. There's seven people on our YouTube. So unfortunately, we are going to have to terminate this specific stream, but I am going to be on a little bit later um, for Ons Jabor versus Zidane. So that's at about, well, again, depending on what happens here with these delays, uh, it's supposed to be on at what is midnight in my time, which would be about four hours from this moment. So I'll be back on in about four hours or so, maybe a little later, but uh, stick around, stay tuned. And definitely I'm going to be back with day two of Covey's Corner, our daily roundup of what's going on in the Australian Open. So thank you all so much for your patience. Uh, unfortunate that we couldn't uh, finish this one up, but um, we will see you very soon. You guys are all amazing Um you're all amazing supporters, tennis lovers. We love it. We love watching with you. So thank you all very much. Uh, I am Covey. Like I said, you've seen me in a few hours with On Jabor versus Zidansek. Zidansek. And also tomorrow morning, Covey's Corner daily wrap-up. Thank you all so much for watching this one. And we'll see you real soon. <laughs>